In the closing years of the Sengoku era, Japan was consumed by perpetual conflict. The fires of war raged on, spreading deep into the mountains, to the land of Ashina. What's the matter, Stray? Nothing left to lose? Well, would you look at that? Fascinating. Will you join me, Starving Wolf? On that day, a young cub was taken from the battlefield. He trained relentlessly, and indeed, went on to become a Master Shinobi. Listen, Wolf. You must never forget the Shinobi Code. As your father, my word is absolute. Your master's is a close second. As of today, he is your master. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. You understand me, don't you, Wolf? Some 20 years after Ishin's coup, the Ashina clan was on the brink of collapse. And the shinobi, known as Wolf, had lost everything. Both the man who took him in and the boy he had sworn to protect. Shinobi, open your eyes for the sake of your master.
That shinobi at the bottom of the well. We didn't shackle him, restrain him, nothing. That doesn't worry anybody? Not at all. Not only is he unarmed, he has completely lost his will to live. Nothing but a coward. Unworthy of our concern. Is the edge of a cliff. No one could pass through it. You did well to come here. It's been too long, Wolf. I've come to free you, my lord. Well then? Raise your head. Kusabimaru, your sword. My shinobi. In accordance with the bond of lord and retainer, you will pledge your life in my service. As you command. You are wounded. I have something that may help. It is a special gourd of medicinal waters. Use it to heal your wounds. My lord. Now then, were you gravely injured? A afterward? After what? Do you not remember that night? I do not. Hmm. No. We'll talk about it later. Right now, we must escape Ashina Castle. As you say. There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that will take us out of the castle. Lord Ishin told me about it once. I ask you to find that secret passage. Once you find it, hmm, signal me with a reed whistle. You know, like you used to long ago. I will join you as soon as I hear it.
There's a secret passage beneath the moat bridge that can find the secret passage beneath. When you've reached, I'll come as soon as.
that secret passage at the bottom of the moat, under the bridge, we just got orders to guard it. Hmm. Security's getting tight. War will be upon us very soon. Wolf, you found it. Now let us leave this place. Yes, my lord. To think that this is the only way. To run from the fated bloodline is the only answer. Where shall we go once we're away from the castle? I suppose the first thing we should do is cross the Ashina border. Or perhaps we should hide somewhere. What do you think? Whatever you desire. Whatever I desire? That's the wolf I know. My lord? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just reminiscing. Onward, then. Let us press onward. Once we leave this passage, we'll be outside the castle walls. Divine air. Last we stood together was your uncle's funeral. Lord Genichiro. I... Thank you. Leave this to me. So the noble Shinobi stands in our way. You face Genichiro Ashina. Is that all the shinobi has to offer? The divine heir will be coming with me.
So you're awake. Looks like death is not your fate just yet. What do you call yourself? Your eyes, the eyes of a wolf who has failed in his duties. Or so it seems to me. That is not your concern. <laughs> Spoken like a true shinobi, I must carve the Buddha. You do what you will. Why am I here? All I did was drag you here. Didn't even know if I was dragging a corpse. Couldn't let you get eaten by a pack of wild dogs. How long was I asleep? <laughs> Some time has passed since I found you. I see. However, your master yet lives. <clears throat> He's being held prisoner in Ashina Castle. They will soon make use of his bloodline. Looking at you, I'm sure you appreciate the value it has. My left arm. What did you do to me? That is what I call the shinobi prosthetic. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf. Useless when it comes to carving Buddha, though. You can have it. Shinobi prosthetic? It is no mere replacement for your lost arm. Come to me if you find any shinobi tools. Shinobi tools? I see. For this device. You catch on quick. If you bring me shinobi tools, I'll find a way to fit them to the shinobi prosthetic. Then you'll come to appreciate its worth. I said too much. Go now. What did you mean when you said they'll make use of his bloodline? I don't know much about him, except the dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that name, and that blood runs through your master's veins. So the divine heir. Someone's after him. Might be that the strange things happening to your body have something to do with that. The dragon's heritage. There's a special kind of blood by that n and that which might... You're quite the strange one. Yet, other peculiar visitors have come to this temple. There's one in the clearing to the right of the gate leading off the temple grounds. Two strangers in strange circumstances. You two might get along. You see the kind-faced Buddha there? That isn't one of mine. It was carved by the true sculptor. When a man must confront what is inside of him, it can probably be of help. Confront what is inside him? Anger, sadness, or perhaps old memories of times long gone. That kind of thing.
Never seen you before. Your name? <sighs> Won't tell me. But you do have the look of a skilled shinobi. A shinobi. Or perhaps... Hmm. Sir, please heed my humble request. Face me in battle. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> that swordsmanship, it was a thing to behold. Few have managed to kill me in such a thorough manner. What are you? Some call it undying. Others, infested. I can't die, so I just am. How about you? What brings you to a rundown temple like this? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you have a lot on your mind. Say, why don't you use me for some sword practice? Might come in handy for whatever your mission is. A warm body that can't die might prove useful to you. I volunteer. Well? Very well. Right then. Let's go. They say, swinging one sword is a cure for boredom. In that case... I stand as your opponent. those with nowhere else to go. I certainly fit that description. Hmm. And I suppose that's why interesting things make their way into the offering box from time to time. And this temple attracts those with nowhere else to go. I certainly fit that description. And I suppose that's why interesting things make their way into the offering box from time to time. Come back whenever you like. If you have techniques to try out, I'm at your disposal. Thank you. 
You truly returned from the dead. The power of the dragon's blood. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. Who are you? My name is Emma. I am a doctor serving a certain master. What master? Forgive me, but for his safety, I cannot reveal his identity. However, my master gave explicit orders to assist you in any way I can. I'm not telling you to trust me. However, I must fulfill my master's orders. The gourd of medicinal water you possess, that was originally a creation of mine. I am a doctor, and I will assist you in that capacity. You made this gourd? Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. I'd like to make a request. What is it? Please show me your face. What? Hmm. This white mark, is it a birthmark? No. Then, that must mean it appears on those who have received the dragon's heritage. Or perhaps, it's a symptom. <sighs> Are you done? Yes, that will be all. I'm sorry. That was rather rude of me. So, it's not a birthmark. Then, that must mean, or perhaps, huh? Goodbye. I found one. A shinobi tool? Yes. I said before that your prosthetic arm was a fang, but by fitting shinobi tools to your arm, you'll be able to change the form of that fang. Thick shields, Break them into splinters. Swift foes bring them down from afar. Fitting more devices means more ways to slay your enemies. If there's someone that needs killing, there's a proper way to kill them. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Seems you know this prosthetic very well. <laughs> I should calm myself. The more I speak of bloodshed, the more demonic my sculptures will become. Give it here. I'll fit that tool for you. Yes, right. That kind-faced Buddha you see over there? Don't do anything funny with it. <laughs> 